Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce our work, Auto Importing Under Normalization Constraint, which is a part of ICML 2021. I'm Sang Wong Yun, and this is a joint work with Yong Kyun No and Frank Park. In our work, we propose normalized autoencoder, which is a novel probabilistic autoencoder, a novel energy based model, and a strong outlier detector. An autoencoder is a neural network which reconstructs an input from a specific data distribution. The quality of reconstruction is measured by the reconstruction error. An autoencoder is trained to minimize the reconstruction error of the training data. The most popular application of an autoencoder is outlier detection. In an autoencoder-based outlier detection system, an input with a small reconstruction error is classified as an inlier. Conversely, an input with a large reconstruction error is classified as an outlier. The critical assumption here is that an autoencoder is not able to reconstruct outliers. In fact, however, an autoencoder does reconstruct some outliers. For example, we find that an autoencoder trained on MNIST can reconstruct characters from Omniglot, and also images with low intensities. Note that this autoencoder is not the identity mapping. We name this phenomenon the outlier reconstruction. Our goal is to suppress this phenomenon to build a better outlier detector. To understand outlier reconstruction, we visualize the reconstruction error across a one-dimensional data space. Ideally, the reconstruction error should be low only where the training data are present. In this case, an outlier can be successfully detected by its large reconstruction error. However, when outlier reconstruction occurs, the reconstruction error can be low in the outlier region. The problem of an autoencoder is that its objective function does not differentiate these two cases, as the training reconstruction errors are the same. So there is no incentive for an autoencoder to give larger reconstruction error to an outlier. We aim to fix this glitch in an autoencoder's objective function. On the other hand, maximum likelihood learning can lead to the successful detection of outliers, at least in principle. The key difference here is that the probability density is constrained to be normalized, unlike the reconstruction error. An outlier is assigned with a small probability density because the normalization constraint is enforced. To use this property, we aim to train an autoencoder using maximum likelihood. Normalized autoencoder is an autoencoder trained via maximizing the likelihood. To use the likelihood, we first need to define a probabilistic model P theta. We define P theta using an energy based model framework. The parametric energy function E defines the density, and omega is the normalization constant. Our key idea is to set the energy as the reconstruction error. As a result, maximization of the likelihood becomes minimization of the reconstruction error with an additional term responsible for the normalization constraint. To train NAE, we take the gradient of the log likelihood. The gradient expression contains the two terms. The first blue term decreases the reconstruction error of the real data, while the second pink term increases the reconstruction error of the generated sample. This gradient expression leads to a natural mechanism for increasing the reconstruction error of outliers. With the new objective function, NAE is significantly less prone to reconstruct outliers, becoming a strong outlier detector. There are many more interesting topics discussed in our paper. Please check out if you're interested. Thank you for listening and feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Have a nice day.